But what? But according to his mercy, he saved us. Wait a minute. What did he do? But according to his mercy, he saved us. How did he do that? By the washing of regeneration. When you've been washed by regeneration, you got the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. And what else? And renewing, and renewing of the Holy Ghost. You got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. So the Apostle Paul told the church of Corinth, I would, brethren. I would that all men were that even as all I myself. all men. All men. Was even. As I myself. Like my Self, this goes to show you, you don't have to be married to be a preacher. That's right. But if you are married, that's right. You only can have one wife. One wife. I say, if you are married, yes. Give me First Timothy First chapter Timothy three, verse chapter one, three, son. Verse Come one. on now. Amen. I want to show you this, amen. Just in case many of you that may be undercover preachers here. That's right. Preachers on the down low. That's right. Don't want folks to know that you are some kind of preacher. Right. And you may have your second wife. In fact, you left her home because she didn't want to come because she know I preach against adultery. <laughs> Amen. But when you go home to your adulterous wife and sleep with your adulterous mm. wife and have your adulterous children and you are an adulterous bishop, you go to your adulterous church and you're going to an adulterous hell. Go ahead, man. Get me now. First Timothy chapter three, verses one and two. What is it? This, this is a true saying. Wait, 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 wait. Anything else opposite from this is a lie. This this is a true saying. This is the truth here. If a man desire the office of a bishop, if a man want to be a bishop, he desireth a good work. Wait, what is his qualification if he want? A bishop then must be blameless. What else? The husband of one wife. Right then, that condemn women preachers. That's right. I want to say, how's that, Pastor Jennings? That's right. It said the husband of one wife. Husband it didn't say be the wife of one husband. No. The husband of one wife. So, woman, how are you a bishop? Amen. How are you a bishop? How are you, How are you an apostle? That's How right. are you a pastor? How are you an evangelist? How are you an elder? That's right. Don't don't go don't go bring me Philip for daughters <laughs> and say they were evangelists, you old liar. No, no, no. Bible talked about how they were prophets. Prophetess. And prophesying is not preaching. That's right. Prophesying is the foretelling of an event that's going to come by God's permission, and that's given to a woman that's a prophetess, and a man that's a prophet. That's right. That's not breaking down the scriptures, opening them up and taking them apart. No. Eh? This is a true saying. This is true here. If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desire a good work. A bishop then must be blameless. And you got to be blamed. The husband of one wife. All right, if you are a preacher, how many wives you got to have? One wife. How many? One wife. One wife. One. One. Any preacher in the building tonight or this afternoon got more than one, you's a sinner. That's a sinner. Did you hear me? That's right. I don't care if you got a cross around your neck big as the White House. <laughs> That's right. That's a mighty big and cross. Until they got to put you on a flatbed truck every time you wear it. That's right. If you're a preacher this afternoon and you preacher. got a second wife, you're a sinner. The husband of one wife. What? The husband of one wife. Even Jesus got one wife. One wife. I want to say, Jesus got one wife? Yes! That's right. And his wife is the church. The church. The church is the bride. That's right. And he don't have two churches. He got one. One church. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church. My church. Glory to God. Amen. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is a true saying. This is a true saying. If any man desire the office of a bishop. You desire the office of a bishop. He desireth a good work. What? A bishop then must be blameless. Blameless. The husband. Of how many? Of one wife. That's all, buddy. That, that's all. That's all, buddy. That's all, buddy. Go ahead, take God. That's right. So if there's any preachers that are watching and listening, I don't care who you are. You can cuss, get mad, jump, fall out, go in a coma for a year go and come coma. back. Go in a coma. The next year, this scripture's still going to be here. The husband of one wife. So many of these preachers out here that's supposed to be an apostolic or Pentecostal stood on these principles. Yeah. Speaking in tongue, without it, no Holy Ghost. Without it, that's right. They told the people, you got to have it like they did on the day of Pentecost. That's right. Later on, everything changed. That's right. You can't even recognize the churches now that you are members of. That's true. Can't recognize them. You don't know whether you're still in the club that you was at Saturday night. Amen. Because that's what your church looked like now. Yeah. I was watching the message this morning from last night. And you know on YouTube, they're having a corner of other things. Mm -hmm. And they had something that came up. I'm like, what in the world is this? They had Kirk Franklin. Oh, my Lord. Just dancing like the world, which I expect him to do because he's a sinner. That's right. And then they had this other fellow that's supposed to be a preacher. I cannot remember his name. 
He had on a blue suit with big rhinestones and wore lime green woman heels. What? Up in the pulpit, he must have had about six inch heels. My Lord. A grown man supposed to be a preacher and the crowd was right there. My Lord, my Lord. They have put no difference what? between the holy and profane. Do you hear this? In the book, in of, the Ezekiel, book of Ezekiel. Chapter 22 and verse 26. This is where the churches are now. That's right. They have put no difference. Give chapter and verse again. Ezekiel chapter 22 at verse 26. A grown 26. man, lime green hills. <laughs> My Society Lord. is so spiritually doped up. That's right. Doped up doped with up. the wickedness of Satan. That's right. The attitude of the so-called church people yeah. across the board today, when it comes to sin, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They look at a preacher walking around. If I, like I said last night, if I came in here with booty shorts, somebody would say, it doesn't matter. That's right. That's true, Pastor. Hey, Amen. <laughs> That's right. They would say, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Some will still listen. Yes, Some are still dumb enough to listen to me. That's right. But them that got good sense, oh, the man lost his mind. <laughs> Let's right. get out of here. Let's run. Let's run. Next song they sang, run! Don't and don't look back. back. That's right. The devil is causing this great falling away. It's falling away. Which shows us this. More will be lost. Oh, yes. Give me the Old Testament. Yes. Only a few will be saved. That's right. These, it ain't a mega church on social media. That's telling the people how to live holy. Not one. That's right. Noel Jones ain't doing it. T.D. Jakes, you know he ain't doing it. <laughs> Creflo Dollar, he ain't doing it. Kenneth Copeland, they're not doing it. They're not, they're doing it. not interested. Not interested. In going back with God by paying a Bible Go price. Ahead. That's right. Not interested. Their only interest is give you this illusion That's it. of heaven on earth. That's it. And this earth is not heaven. No. Oh, we take God, heaven and earth is going to pass away. That's right. And the lust thereof. But he that do the will of God shall abide forever. In the book of 2 Estrus chapter 8. Listen at this in 2 Estrus. Chapter 8. Chapter 8. And at verse 1. Verse 1. And he answered me saying, the most high has made this world for many. Listen at this. Amen. The most high. That's God. That's God. The most high. Has made this world for many. He made this world. For many. For many. But the world to come for few. The world to come for, for few. few. At verse 3. Says what? There be many created. There be many that are created. But few shall be saved. Many created. Why such a few? Many created. How many things did Adam do to get put out the garden? One. How many? One. one. If you got one sin on you, you can't enter into the kingdom of God. That's right. Somebody say what? Fifth chapter of the book of Ephesians, son, real quick. That's it. Follow me. Stay ahead of me That's and get me. Right. Hey, God, present. Unto himself. Give chapter and verse. In Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 27. This is why there's such a great falling away. If you take note, New Jerusalem, whom John saw coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. husband. John said, the city lieth four square. Four square. The length, the breadth, and the height thereof equal. are equal. equal. He said, there's 12 foundations, and the name of the 12 apostles was on the gates. On the and they said, one part of the city is uh, 12,000 furlongs, and another part is 144 cubits. Four cubits. New Jerusalem have never been enlarged. That's right. Never went through renovations. Never been changed in size. That's right. It is designed to hold a number that no man can number, but in God's eyes, that number is still a few. Still a few. But because there's so many. That's right. Going to hell. Therefore, hell hath enlarged itself. God made hell bigger. That's right. 
Do you hear the Bible and talking? And Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 14. Isaiah 5, 14 says, Therefore hell, Therefore hell, Hath enlarged herself, Have gotten enlarged, And opened her mouth without measure. What? And open her mouth without measure. No measure? Without measure. New Jerusalem is measured. That's right. That's right. But hell! Without measure. No measure. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. It's so many. That's right. Until the number of those that are lost. That's right. Exceed those that will be saved. Those that will be saved. In the because book? there will be sinners who will never come to God. I don't care what you tell them. That's true. You got that. That's right. John said, he that is holy, let him be holy still. Let him be holy still. He that is righteous, who will take God, let him be righteous still. That's right. He that is foolish, let him be foolish. Let him be foolish still. He that is unjust. Do you hear this? In the book of Revelation chapter 22 and verse 11. He that is unjust. Let him be unjust still. Let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy. He that is filthy. Let him be filthy still. Let him be still. filthy still. And he that is righteous. He that is righteous. Let him be righteous let still. Let him be righteous still. And he that is holy. He that is holy. Let him be holy let still. Let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly. What? And behold, I come quickly. Here he comes. And my reward is with me. Hallelujah. Now, it is that last statement That's that right. people forgot. Forgot. He said, Behold, Behold I come quickly. I'm coming quick. Quickly. But and my reward, my is, reward with is with me. Hold it right there. Because there's two rewards. That's right. There's a reward for the holy. And there's the reward for the wicked. For the wicked. The reward for the holy. Blessed is he to have part in the first resurrection. On such the second death have no power. No power. The reward for the wicked is hell. Hell. That's right. That's right. Hell was enlarged. Enlarged. Without measure. Hell hath enlarged herself. Because there will be more loss. Oh yes. Than saved. That's right. Sinners who never will come to God. Right. Even after they hear the word of God, they won't come, some of them. Some of them. And then you have those that came That's right. that will commit treason yeah. and turn their back on the Most High. That's right. That will blend in and enlarge hell. those that's going to hell. Therefore, hell has enlarged herself. I'm determined not to be included there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Living holy may be hard yeah. because you got to give up a lot. That's right. Everything you love that's against God, you got to give it up. Oh, yes. You don't feel like doing it. Go ahead, take God. Oh, no. You don't want to do I it. You don't want to do it. Yeah, but my fear for hell. That's it. Cause me to plead with God to help me do it. That's it. Hallelujah. That's it. Yeah. That's right. My fear. That's right. Go ahead, take God for hell. That's it. Calls me to pull on heaven. That's right. And ask God to help me to overcome. Hallelujah. That's, right. yeah. That's it. Build me up where I'm torn down. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. Oh, it be to God. That's right. For if I build again, if I build again the, the things, things which I destroy, that I destroy. I make myself a transgressor. Hallelujah. Many of you watching now, you once was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. Striving to live a holy, sanctified life, sister. You was doing fine until you met that fella. That's right. That fella pulled you right out the church. That's right. He hypocrited and came to church by your invitation. Yeah. Clapping and standing up, bobbing his head to a false prophet you invite him to hear. That's right. He even went as far as getting baptized. He got on his knees and spit all over the chair. My Lord, Pretend my Lord. Pretend like he was speaking in some tongue. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. You thought that was God's gift for heaven. Oh, yes. You married him. Married him. He came to church for a few months. Oh, Slowly yes. but surely, he started staying home more. More. That's right. More. You came home and found cigarette buds in your house. Yeah. Now cans of beer in your house. Everything he tore down, slowly but surely, he built it up. If I build again the things which I destroy. How do you expect 
to come out of anything when you're hanging around a crowd that's doing what you're trying to stop doing. That's right. The Lord says, come out, come out from, from among, among them and be ye separate. And say be it, separate. Say it the Lord. Are you listening? That's right. So slowly but surely, he start to coerce her. Yeah. Because he missed the life they used to have, clubbing. That's right. Or she missed the life she used to have, partying. That's right. So she dig her friends back up on social media. Mm -hmm. Social media is good and bad. And bad. Social media, man, I send you to hell quick. Oh, yes. Make you hunt down them old girlfriends and them old trifling boyfriends. That's right. Make you look up strangers. That's right. You don't even know his name or her name. Amen. Then you go meet them. Amen. And then nobody can find you. That's right. Be not deceived. Do you hear it? 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 33. Don't be tricked. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 33. Chapter and verse again, Will. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Yeah. Be not deceived. Don't you be tricked. Evil communication. Evil communication, what does it do? Corrupt good manners. Hold it. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Good Let manners. me miss this example. If you come from a good structure family, mother and father was there, they laid good groundwork. That's right. Raised the children right, God-fearing, told them no sex before marriage, none of that. That's right. Laid down a clean law. Don't you come in this house, no one and two and three in the morning. Amen. Amen. Good structure. Then they start hanging around the wrong crowd. The crowd is only successful in manipulating you, man or woman. And that's determined on how weak you are. That's right. If you're weak, you can be easily manipulated. Oh, yeah. If you're not weak, the devil can come out of hell. You're going to remain firm and solid. That's right. That's but so many of our young people yeah. are being lowered back. Oh, yes. They didn't wait to get steadfast. No. Some running get married because they don't want to fornicate. That is not a reason to marry. No. You're married because you love that man or love that woman. That's right. You see, when you're single, you have to strive for mastery, so you got to be disciplined. Discipline. You got to strive for God to discipline mind, soul, body, and spirit. That's right. That's why the Bible says you're killed all the day long. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen a dead person get up and kiss nobody. <laughs> no. Now here's God tell us, he say, you are dead. You are dead. And your life is hid with, with Christ. Christ in God. That's right. And this is why holiness is so firm. It come to kill the living. What you mean? Living in sin so I can be dead in Christ. That's right. Glory be to God. Be not deceived. Yeah. That's right. Don't be tricked. Evil communication. Evil. Evil communication. Thanks be unto God communication. Corrupt good manners. What it look like a bunch of young people? Spending the night over a single sister house, brothers and sisters. What's brothers, the matter with you? And sisters. A bunch of young people. That's right. A bunch of sisters spending the night over a single brother house. Mm. Brothers spend the night over a single sister house. No. Come on, well, we all holy together. You are a bunch of hypocrites and heathens. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Eh? That's right. I don't care who you are. Amen. There ain't no single sister should be spending the night over some single brother house or some brother spending the night over a single sister house. I don't care if it's 500 of you. That's you want right. to spend the night, go home. That's right. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Be not deceived. I know the world a bunch of single sisters going to be in a single brother house. And well, we all we all in prayer. How in nightgowns and slippers, <laughs> my Lord, in drawers, oh, my in pajamas. God. That won't be lasting too long, Pastor. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's the devil out of hell. Amen. Amen. There ain't no single sister should be getting her suitcase packed to go spend the night over some brother's house. No way. And, and that ain't your husband? No. Because other sisters going to be there? It ain't no sister supposed to be there. That's right. That's right. 
speaking in tongue, Jezebel. Mm. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you getting me? What did the holy book say? Yeah, first Corinthians chapter 7 <laughs> and verse 1. Amen. There was one amen came out, so like somebody was like somebody was whining. Yes. <laughs> amen. That's right. I ain't got that thing sound painful, didn't it? <laughs> Glory to God. All right, come on, son. First Corinthians chapter 7, and we're at verse 1. <laughs> yeah. Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me. What is it? It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Only the Lord said that, not Paul. No, Paul. Oh, Didn't told you the way he used to be. That's he right. served divers' lusts. And pleasures. And pleasure. I mean, he had fun. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Divers mean all kind. That's it. Man, here come God changed that man. Now concerning and the things. And now made him say something he would never say. That's right. Concerning the things Where that have you wrote, you unto, wrote me? unto me. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. It ain't no man going to say that unless God get a hold of him. <laughs> That's right. The only way. Am I right, man? Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. That's the only way. There ain't no real man going to say that no man. unless God get a hold to him. That's right. And even when God got a hold to him, he makes tr got trouble saying that. Oh, yeah. But he got to tell the truth of it. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. What did he say? Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, uh -huh. it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Uh, that's what the Bible says. That's what the scripture says. The scripture. We wouldn't say it. No. No way. We wouldn't say that. Uh -uh. Unless the Holy Ghost get a hold of you, then you have to say amen. That's right. But what did he say? Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. To avoid fornication. Sinning. Let to avoid mm -hmm. Unlawful sex. That's right. What did he say? Let every man have his own wife. Get your own. And let every woman have her own husband. Her own. And some of you got married and may say, well, we didn't have no sex. You know, a lot of churches teach if you get married but didn't have no sex yet, uh, you didn't consummate the marriage. You're not really bound. You bound the moment you got that license. That's it. Hey Amen. I don't care if he can't move and she can't move. When you got that license, that's your contract. That's your contract. You bound. Bound. I mean, if you married him and he in the freezer, you bound to that popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. You bound, buddy. That's it. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Glory be to God. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. You're bound, I said. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. To avoid it. Let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own there ain't no church sleepover. No, it's not. Amen. Not here. No. I no. better find out you're having one. I come in there like Jesus and turn <laughs> your tables over. Yes, I will. That's right. Bunch of young single people talking about sleeping over. Sleeping mm. over what? My Lord. All these brothers there and sisters there. Mm. Somebody gonna wake up two o'clock in the morning. Yes, they will. They, they, they got they co they got a cold knock. That's right. And she knows it's him. She, that's it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Not, 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 not so loud. M Mother Gresto is Mother next door. Gresto. That's right. Not here. No. Dang fellowship, that's folly. Folly. The holy putteth no trust in his saints. And I don't either. That's right. Give chapter and verse. Job chapter 15 and verse 15. Ain't no single people got no business crammed in one house spending the night, brothers and sisters. If you all brothers, fine. Fine. All sisters, fine. Right. Together spend the night. No. No, no. You don't need no revelation. You ain't stupid. <laughs> that's right. I know, well, you sitting around all comfortable in nightgowns and panties and bloomers and brawls and no girdles. And he's sitting around in drawers sitting and around. jockey straps. Go ahead. Talking about we having prayer meeting. <laughs> he all jumping around in jockey. <laughs> <laughs> he 
you all in some spirit. In some spirit with jockey straps. <laughs> My Lord. Am I right? Yes, that's right. You know I'm telling the truth. That's right. Glory be to God. That's the devil out of hell. God knows it is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You see, I got thousands of young people. I got to pound got this. To pa that's right. Yeah. That's right. You want to come together, have a cookout? Fine. That's fine. But you that have these cookouts, don't you have these sisters leaving your home? I don't care if it's brothers and sisters, if it's a hundred of you. No sisters should be leaving out of your house from a cookout the next morning. No way. Shut that stuff down and tell them, all right, it's That's almost right. 12 midnight, time to go. Time to go. You got to go. That's right. Bible said that all things you've done how? Decently and in order. All things. Not leaving your house the next day. Next day. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Glory be to God. Amen. This is old fashioned holiness. Oh, yes. And this is what the people have fell away from. Fell away from. The great falling away is they fell away from holy, sanctified teaching. And That's now it. the world have leaped to their own understanding. That's it. What That's did he say? The holy putteth no trust. Yeah, chapter and verse. This is Job 15, 15. Job chapter 15 and verse 15. The Lord talking. Behold, he putteth no trust. He said he don't put no trust in his saints. In his saints. That meaning his, God don't trust his people. His people. What do you mean? He don't trust their flesh. No. He don't, no matter how much Holy Ghost they got, he know they still flesh. That's right. And they, that flesh act up sometimes. <laughs> that's right. And that's yeah. why you got to have a preacher to pound on that old wild stuff. Wow. You're a wild thing. <laughs> that's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. Yeah, some folks, they feel like they're caged in. My God, man, they're about to explode. They are wild things. Wild things. Amen. Come on, son. They only put no trust in his saints. Come on and say, well, if, they that, if they're that wild, why don't they get married? <laughs> Listen, you got the most naive concept to think marriage tames everybody. Right. Marriage do not tame everybody. No. For some people, marriage made them worse. That's right. Because they're not getting what they want at home. That's right. Well, that's another subject for another day. <laughs> All right, come on, Williams. The only put is no trust in his saints. <laughs> he put no trust, no. I said. In his saints. Glory be to God. Yea, the heavens, the heavens are not clean in his sight. If the heavens are not clean in his sight, that means heaven is dirty in his eyes. How much more abominable is what? And filthy is man. Yeah. How, look how God look at man. How much more abominable and filthy is man. That's why you need to be born again. Your nature is dirty. Dirty. Your nature is dirty. That's right. You need to be born again. <laughs> You've got a dirty nature. You're liable to go back That's to right. where God brought you from. Oh, yeah. You're liable to go right back to it. Right Don't back. you feel your flesh being pulled sometimes? Oh, yeah. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. That's why I shock a lot of people how so many men Come in this. These men know this old sugar mess won't help them in the church they're in. No way. You got some old sugar watered down fairy for a bishop who don't bother your sins. That's right. You see, when I came from the hood, I often meet this example. From the hood, we, there was two ways of boxing. Slap. Body. You like to go to churches where your preacher deal with sin like this. That's right. We come along. Mighty close, <laughs> eh? That's what we coming on. That's right. Old Testament and New Testament. That's right. I haven't hit you yet in all these it. years. No, no, you haven't. Not yet. Glory to God. So, when the will of the flesh yeah. start to activate again. Oh, yes. You need to be around preaching That's right. that deals with that troubled body. That's right. And that troubled mind. That's right. Because it's a form of bringing the mind and body back on track. Back on track. It's the same thing when you got a car. Yeah. 
You hit too many potholes, too many bumps. Oh, yeah. You need an alignment. Am I right? That's right. And you can tell that you need an alignment by the way your car drives. Yeah. You can tell when your body, your life, your temple is out of line, out of line. with God's word. That's right. So you need a spiritual alignment so you can walk right walk again. Right. Think right again. That's right. Talk right again. That's it. And be like God wants you to be. That's right. Got to have an alignment. Alignment. And this old religious trash, it don't align your wheels. No. In fact, it mess up your, your hinges and everything else. That's right. It gives you a whole flat tire. Amen. Come on, son. Let's go back to Thessalonians back to real Second quick. Thon Second Thessalonians. Chapter 2 and verse 3. Yes. Let no man deceive you by any means. Don't let nobody trick you in any means. For that day shall not come. That what? Except there come a falling away first. And? And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Now, to fall away from God, you can't fall away from what you've never been a part of. That's right. Many of you that are watching around the world, throughout America and Canada and Africa and Europe, certainly have abandoned God. Many, not all. Some is hanging on by the skin of their teeth. That's true. Some of the church organizations that had a little decency. Yeah. They done took that and threw it out the window and exchanged it for prosperity preaching. That's right. There are preachers like many apostolic organizations, by the way, worldwide, who headquarters are here in D.C. Former Bishop, Bishop Smallwood Williams, who passed away. He was starched against divorce and remarriage. Starched against it. And he was against women preachers. Amen. He used to be the general secretary for under Bishop R.C. Lawson. Before he died, the women preachers was coming in the different Bible way temples and the remarriage and divorce. After he died, it exploded. Mm. The false prophet bishop and a would-be apostle in New York, Bishop Huey Dewey Rogers, <laughs> who's nothing but a sinner. Amen. Ordained countless of women to be preachers. And even he, I remember when I was younger, stood firm against women preachers. My Lord. This is how the great falling away, great falling away. will happen. That's right. The contributing factor to it happening is preachers convincing people that sin is right. That's right. Sin is right and holiness is wrong. Woe well, unto them that call evil good. You see how the Bible talks? In Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 20. The preacher said, it's all right to remarry and divorce. It's all right to live together not married. It's all right to get drunk once in a while as long as you don't overindulge. It's all right to party. That's why you find the so-called Christian right. music can be played on both platforms. That's right. You don't know whether to shout to it or dance to it. Or dance. Why you think Kirk Franklin and these other hypocrites yeah. Play music so it can be played in the club and the church. That's right. That way they can make money from both worlds. That's right. You go on social media, you see T.D. Jakes hanging out at Puff Daddy's party. Big as he is with short songs. What a fool. My Lord. And they playing music and T.D. Jakes is there. The preachers are scared. Oh, yes. To be looked different. By the celebrity world. That's right. Because they themselves want to be a celebrity. Right. They don't want to be saved. No. They want to be seen. That's right. Being a celebrity is more important to them than telling you what's right. Amen. Because if you're a preacher and represent God, you will be around sinners for one reason to preach to them. That's the word. That's right. Not party with them. No. You a preacher, why are you at a party with women twerking? Mm. You a preacher, a preacher, why are you sitting there with champagne glass? That's right. That's right. You a preacher, why are you there at the bar drinking Budweiser? Amen. Where's your difference at? Where's your difference? Give me Leviticus 10.10. 10. Leviticus chapter 10. And you wonder why the sinners don't respect you fake churches? That's you right. don't deserve respect from a sinner. Amen. 
Notice Leviticus 10, 10. And that ye may put different. God talking. And that ye may put different. That what? That ye may put that different. That ye, you, you, may put different. Between holy, between holy and unholy. And unholy. And between unclean, between unclean and clean. Put Even different. down to our weddings. We don't have weddings like the sinners. The Bible speaks against the wearing of gold and pearls and jewelry, so we ain't wearing no rings because the Bible speaks against the rings. It's the rings. Someone said, Well, how do you know you married? Act like it. <laughs> That's right. When a ring made you act like you married, Amen. a ring ain't never committed no man to no woman or no woman to no man. No. You'll be a hoe with that ring on, he'll be a pip with his ring on. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. And that you may put difference. But difference between holy and unholy. So we have a wedding, a holy sanctified wedding. She may have a wedding gown, but none of her meat is showing. That's right. Back out. Nope. No, 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 no lace all clear yes. where you can see her cleavage. You don't come to church like that. That's right. If you want your husband to see your cleavage, wait till you get home. That's right. Then he can cut the dress off of you. Not in God's house. Not in God's house. You don't even kiss the same way in God. You don't kiss your wife the same way in God's house like you do at home. No. That's why we're not performing a wedding. We don't say kiss the bride. No. You say what? Your tongue ain't got no business in your wife's mouth in here. That's right. Salute one another with an holy kiss. What kind of kiss in God's house? And holy kiss. What kind? And holy kiss. What kind? And holy kiss. In you Romans, better give chapter and verse so they can write that down. Romans chapter 16 and verse 16. Salute one another with a holy kiss. I don't say let's kiss the bride as I pronounce you, husband and wife. No. I say let us all stand and pray. <laughs> That's right. You know why? You got yourself into something you ain't never been in. That's right. You got a lifetime for kissing. You need prayer now. Lord Jesus, look down upon these folks. Amen. The Bible said it all things, and a lot of folks say that's taking it to the extreme. To the, extreme. the Bible says, God says, my house that's right. shall be called house of a house of prayer for all, for all people. For all people. You don't kiss in God's house like you do at home. No way. That's right. It is all right. Amen. That's the word. So I don't say to kiss the bride. I tell you, you go home and do that. I remember I married one couple. They forgot they were so happy they was married. He was moving towards. I said, no, 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 not now. <laughs> he said, Oh man, Pastor Dennis, I forgot. <laughs> I said, Look, let me hurry up and pray so you can get out of here quick. <laughs> it was, it was, it was real funny because while I was praying, I had he didn't notice I had my eye open. He was. Like, <laughs> He was grabbing her hand all type of ways, grabbing it. <laughs> I was praying, Lord, bless these two. Bless their marriage. Let your spirit be upon them. Guide them. Watch over them. Man, he wasn't paying me no mind. He was bobbing her hand and going all that. I guess said, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> amen. That's right. You have to keep God's house clean. Clean. Mm. Amen. Wonderful. In other words, everything that go on in God's house must have God's approval. That's right. There ain't no one should be smooching in the house of worship where you worship in God. No. Wonderful. It is wonderful. Amen. So when you're a holy sanctified wedding, your, your dress cover your body. People yeah. ask me, what did you wear when you got married? The same kind of suit I preached in. If my suit was good enough to preach in, my suit was good enough to get married in. That's, right. That's exactly what I did. What you did. Got married in my double-breasted black suit, got my white shirt. A few days earlier, I got some white material, made me a white-on-white -white silk bow tie, put my clip in the back, <laughs> wore it, and preached the same day. Yes, you did. Someone said, what? I couldn't help it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the church was packed. It was packed. <laughs> and I was like, Dottie, is devils everywhere. <laughs> I told my wife, I said, Daddy, I got to preach. She said, Gino, I said, I can't help it. Look, do you, do you kiss these people? There are devils in here. 
My Lord, my Lord. God, and we, and we preach at Hat Church yes, you, that right. evening. That evening. Didn't we, William? Yes, we did. And, and I read for you, Pastor. Yes, you did. <laughs> and my new wife was sitting there with her gown on. Right. Amen. Yes. That's right. So, yes, we had church the same night. I just couldn't help it. Couldn't help Looking it. at all the false, the false prophets was there <laughs> by the number. I was like, my God, all these folk, I, got, I can't leave without killing somebody. <laughs> Amen. I couldn't, it, 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 the thing was just all them. It was, I just couldn't help it. And brother, we unleashed Bible on them. That's right. And then went off to the sunset. <laughs> That's right. So you got to keep God's house clean. 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 Oh, yes. Amen. Keep oh, your yes. weddings holy. Holy. Don't add nothing. You ain't marching down on no worldly music. That's right. No Teddy Pendergrass, no Kurt Franklin, no love songs. That's this right. is God's house. God's house. You have a reception. She ain't got her gown pulled up and some, she's throwing a garter. Yeah. Not in God's house. No, no. And then some other man putting a garter up her leg. She got her dress all up and the photographer is all up there. That's right. In God's house. God's house. These churches are nothing but whole houses. Oh, yeah. That's what they are. What they are. They're nothing but whole houses. That's right. Someone said the proper thing is whore. All right, whole whore houses. (laughs) Ain't no discipline, no order, no nothing. No nothing. Even the bishop, right away after he married, he said, I get the first kiss. Yes, he do. Old sloppy mouth bishop got his chicken greasy lips all up. (laughs) Coming at you like Jaws. That's right. (laughs) That's right. Not here. Not here. (laughs) Not here. Amen. 